<laughs> you can keep talking, but he can be a free agent only once. Larry Larry, that man is definitely not free. This man is about to go in. All right, here, here we go. It's going to be an exciting match, of course. Absolutely. Cosmos right now, you know, resides with the rest of the Loft members. Uh, best player in that crew, of course, being Tweet. So that's a lot of great practice. But as far as Fox is concerned, you know, in the Loft, who plays Fox? I mean, when I think of Spacey's, I think of uh, Kataro. <laughs> yeah, Kataro and the Falco, man. Yeah. yeah. Falco, you know, that right? doesn't matter. Trying to re re release the, the Brawl days. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they don't really. <laughs> but anyway. Sorry. Uh, but here we go. Lyra, of course, Ooh, a combo catch. game. This combo game is ridiculous. Yes, like, it is. We saw him playing earlier today, and he literally just had his opponent getting stuck in a bunch of like what 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 man would call the the vortexes, right? Absolutely. Cosmos trying to see if he can get back on stage and play, but of course, uh, Larry Lur is a bully. Yeah, he doesn't allow people to play. Uh, that's the way <laughs> that he goes. He's someone again, like I said before, he loves to press buttons. And he does it so damn well. The way that he pressures people is just insane. Look at that. Of course, goes for Tom not grab. Gonna shoulder check him off stage. Just means ledge play. What's gonna happen? Another one. Run it back. It's crazy, man. Like Cosmos barely getting any room to breathe. Like brown on rice. As I am a fan yeah. of brown rice. Brown rice or white rice. <laughs> <But good>. I... <laughs> yep. Good hit. Oh, nice. But not letting Larry get those full jump approaches. You know, Fox. There are some options. You yeah. can get right there off of that full jump. I think we'll go for the neutral air. Even the uh, down air. We've seen Larry try to sneak past people, cross them up with that down air. And if he does manage to nick them, he'll get that fun with the up smash. But All here right. it is. And Larry, yeah, he's going to go ahead. He's going to close out with that bear, and he's going to move on forward. Uh, definitely look at oh, almost a dangerous situation for Larry. Of course, uh, Rage being a factor in this game. He was in a situation where he could have easily been killed by Pan. Oh, gets killed anyway. Good old Cookie Monster, Chomp. Close <laughs> it out. There it is. He's hanging. Cosmos, of course, trying to see if he can continue to keep up that pressure, man. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I was about to say, is he a little bit too late on the draw? But he yeah. just to get it anyway. Oh, wow. And what a great swing from Cosmos. Great reversal there. Alaria trying to chase that landing. What's going to happen? He's going to dash through. Yeah, but Cosmos is actually trying to see if he can wait for a delayed side B. Yeah. But Live Alert just waited it out. That's a scary situation with the headshot hit. Okay. Let's drop. Not quite working out there. Nice pullback, actually, by Larry, because I thought he was oh, going to put himself yeah. in a situation where the upper was going to KO him. Exactly. And that was just such a great play, because he still ended up back on the stage and took all that stage control. That's not enough? Not having it. Yeah. Great DI right. there. Uh, Larry does also play some... He plays some coin himself, so he does. he's going to have knowledge on that. He's going to be pretty solid as far as DI is concerned, but that does not matter at that percent. Cosmos is going to close this out game one. There it is, man. And I have to say, that was a pretty good first game. We saw in the first stock, Larry Lur just mounting a whole bunch of pressure right on top of Cosmos. And then in the second game, Cosmos just forcing Larry, in the second stock, Cosmos forcing Larry Lur off stage over and over again, trying to capitalize on the recovery, keep racking up that damage until he was finally able to just go for a grab in neutral because shield is an option that a lot of people go for when it comes to Smash 4 anyway, or Smash games in general. So you might as well, if you have a kill girl, that helps out so much. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a trade. A trade that, hey, you definitely don't want to... Yeah. Okay, you don't want those, man. Not at all. Okay, I like that by Larry. Saving that jump, getting back on the platform to reset. Oh, the GameStop trade. <laughs> what a thing, man. This, you know, it's funny because what I've been seeing here from Cosmos, I love that he's been really tightening up his gameplay. He's had, he's made really great decisions overall. That's going to be a Yo! kill. Yeah, oh, oh. yeah. Skewered. That was crazy. But even with a lot of the pressure that we've seen from Larry, right now he's not being afraid to swing. And he's swinging in such like great timings. Especially when uh, Larry goes for the usual traps where most people will either air dodge or they just regularly land and then he catches the landing and moves from there. And Fox can be so proficient at that. So I love that Cosmos is aware of what percents where he needs to press a button or not. Exactly. Larry's still managing to have to jump to force himself back on after Cosmos pushed him off. Okay, I like the side B usage, of course, gives him a long range move that can get things started right there. So he does have a pop up right there. Oh, tough Ooh. situation. Larry Lur on his final stock, too, but there is Cosmo seeing if he can get that fully charged, which will be not working out in his favor. And again, Larry trying to reset those drifts. Not quite working out for him. Look at that. Instead, Cosmo's DIing away appropriately. Yeah, and then he goes for a neutral air. Like I said, he's just been really, really good at that. He's not afraid in those situations where most people would still. 
still air dodge or just try to jump away. He knows the percent in which the vortex isn't true, and then you can go from there. And that's a kill, and then two wow. stock at that. Two stock. Wow. Wow. How do you feel about that one, Bam? I believe in the beginning of the match, you were quite confident, you know, seeing your boy. First off, I don't even know why you're talking right my, now. The, of course, the, first off, I was just going to say, this is one of my favorite, favorite players in the entire world. When it, uh, when it came to Brawl, I, uh, I worshipped this player, you know? I didn't have a shrine, but I definitely studied a lot of his videos. I know. All right, so anyway, here we go. Game three. Damn sure didn't learn yourself. Final destination, CB and Brawl. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, going into the next here. Game three. I'll try to go for pull down. That's not going to work. And you saw that because Cosmos, he held in too. It yeah. Pretty smart. Absolutely. Ooh, set up. Man, what a wow. chase. And yeah, that, of course, it's going to set up for a landing trap as well. And just like that 60%. So all quick. for that play that Larry went for in early. Tough situation. I like that. Larry Lord realized that he could dip a little bit below and still get the edge. Yeah. Okay. This should be damage here. He's at a good percent. I wonder if he went for that quarter. Probably expected to jump out, but we'll see. Larry Lur. Good catch. Yo, Fax is so fast. F tilt dash attack? It's crazy. Yeah, it's so good. Nice Cosmos recognizing that that pin did not connect, but again. Okay, trying to see if we can probably get a two frame punish, but it's really hard. Okay, I like the soft control there. Oh, if your normal gets up, forward smash can work out, but Larry oh, said okay. he's, he's going, problem. Yeah, he's going for low risk problem. stuff right exactly. here with a grab. Because if you miss your timing and the opponent like perfect shields, at least if you go for a grab, it's not as bad. Yeah. A lot of times people, oh! Yeah, can't, no, nope. yeah, not yeah. gonna work here. That was a heavy committal right there by Cosmos. So, so smart on Larry to go for that. Oh, absolutely, and now Larry's about to get some good damage, good down throw, yep, those set up. Those low percentage uh, down airs, they, they they give you so much. You can yeah. even go for like a footstool exactly. and then that airlock into so much more damage. Yeah. yeah, and what an adaptation here from Larry. He's gonna lose his stock there, but nonetheless, I love the play. He's he's going for more of the guaranteed stuff, and he's doing what one of the things that he does better than anyone in this game, and that means pushing someone to that ledge and letting them sit there for a while. That's it. He is so terrific when it comes to ledge play. This was his game. Yes, 100%. absolutely. If absolutely. you notice, thinking about it, right, we're a final destination, a stage where if you somehow were to have a double jump upon landing, you could elect to jump on a platform, reset, and then, you know, find your way back safely on the ground while mixing up your opponent, you know, not trying to get back on the ground in a predictable manner. But once Final Destination is out, it's either you land on the stage or you land on the uh, on the edge, right? Yeah. It's really, really tough situation right there. You don't really have the platforms to save you. But Cosmos, bringing it back here, after winning on so many other stages versus Larry Lur, decides to go here again. I wonder if he's confident in fighting Larry Lur because his... Uh, well, on the stage, because the jungle game from yeah. Larry is crazy good, but we'll Absolutely. see. I mean, he could also make it difficult for Larry to land as well, I guess, so we'll see. Nice, Larry staying right outside the range of these insta pins. Okay, Cosmo's getting very insta pin happy here. I mean, it, it, it's definitely a really good option. There's a lot of great range on it. Yeah. But if you use it willy nilly, uh oh. Ooh. It, it can put you in a really bad spot, and Larry. When it comes to the ledge traps, this is where he can get a lot of damage. Look at that. Little by little. Exactly. And Throw he's going to keep him here, like See? I said. Exactly. I yeah. agree with you. One of the top three players when it comes to ledge play, and it's really been a reason why he's been able to be such a you know, top 10 talent for so long. Oh, wow. And right there, Larry. And Sentra Scorch for just racking up some more damage. Doesn't want to go for a smash attack. Nice, actually, right there by Cosmos. This will give him a lot of breathing room. And it finally ends. And the, the chips. Yes, that's it. That helped out so much, that release of air from the edge. Okay, here we are. Once again, pin to the side. Tough spot, but Larry so speedy, putting out the back air, trying to, again, keep Cosmos in a corner. Yep, I love dash. it! At, at first, I thought we were going to see an up air, because he was kind of like right underneath, right. but instead, he, that back air was pretty, that was a smart move anyway, you know? Yeah, that's, that's usually one of the classic things that you will see from Larry, and that's something that he also conditioned Cosmos in. Earlier on in the previous games, we had seen Larry just go ahead and look for an instant option, right? And so that's why Cosmos is trying to press a button there. So I do love that this time around, you recognize that Cosmos was ready for that. Cosmos you realize he could die, and of course, he's gonna go for the air dodge read in the back air. Okay, there it is, Lively managing to get back on stage again. He's pushing his advantage. Yep, those rapid jabs. Okay, escape option right there by Cosmos actually with the pin. 
Full jump does help out sometimes when it comes to the getting out of corners, but it can also be a rather obvious option. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to spam it too much, right? True. It's either you fight your way out, you roll your way out. Oh, Larry! Yeah, no. Not going to kill him. Okay, this is an interesting situation, but a trade actually putting Larry Lair in the air. And this is getting very dangerous. Larry Lair getting to 114. He's nearing the percents in which things like a, a different criminal definitely killed this percentage, obviously, but now he's getting in, into the place where potentially a grab. You can see grabs and a kill, but no, that tipper's going to do it. And Cosmos, 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one over Larry Lair. Great job right there by Cosmos. And again, like I said before, uh, currently a free agent, you know, yeah. resides in the Midwest and maybe